You know, we, we speak with uh, we, we we speak with hundreds of people, and uh, it's it amazes me how many people don't have a compelling LinkedIn profile. Like, if you look at most business owners, right? We we would have spent hundreds of hours throughout our various websites of our businesses. We would have spent thousands of dollars building those websites over time. Uh, and the the interesting thing is that. Right now, LinkedIn has become so big that when someone searches for you, your website doesn't come up first anymore. When they search for your actual name, which is what people are searching for, they're not looking for companies anymore. They're looking for the people behind the company, and then they do their background research on that. Once they're buying to you as the person, then they're buying to your company, and then they're buying to your product. So uh, your LinkedIn profile, actually comes up first with, within search results and that's where they, they look. Now, your first impression can either be your best or last in today's business world and you don't get a second chance to make a good first impression. So, if like you have to build a profile that resonates with your audience and the way to do that is what we call the outside-inside approach and I touched on this before. So, you, you have to think of the top three objections that you normally face, time, team, money, whatever it is. The top three challenges your product or service solves and then what makes you unique. Once you've got those figured out, then you need to go to all the different sections of your profile like your summary, your skills and expertise, like your headline, your profile photo, um, your recommendations, everything needs to be centered around those three things because, uh, for instance, recommendations, right? A lot of people just go out and get a recommendation for the sake of it. You should be getting recommendations based on the three objections you normally face. So when I, as a potential customer, look at your profile and I see, oh, Liam has actually solved the current problem I'm facing uh, for 10 other people who have actually vouched for him rather than you saying it yourself, that is very powerful. So uh, you just got to go in and uh, build your profile based around those three points. And look, personal branding, like I mentioned before, it it is paramount to your success because no longer are people buying into companies first, they're buying into you. And uh, if, if you haven't said enough about yourself or projected yourself correctly online, yeah, you're losing a lot of business.